or rather weekly self self defense analysis today i'm going to be talking to you about how to use the environment to your advantage um in self defense and uh, this is very important because a lot of people don't consider um, how the environment affects your survival in an attack and it's very important that you use the environment um, to your advantage uh, to escape to use improvised weapons to do all sorts of things um, and it can work either for you or against you, depending on the situation. So uh, that being said, we're just going to look at this specific case and let's see what we can learn from it. it says girl 16 lured to Brooklyn roof, raped, thrown off building. Cops are pretty much investigating the attack. Some, um, they arrested one guy and looking for another guy. And um, so you can see the picture there. Police have arrested one man and are searching for a second suspect. They allegedly lured, allegedly lured the girl. They raped her before throwing her off, leaving her with serious injuries to her leg, arm, and back. Two men, 24, 26 lured the teen girl to the roof of a three-story building on Miller Avenue in East New York. They raped her and flung her off the roof after one tried to strangle her. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. So, um, so in this type of situation, you do not want to uh, allow yourself um, to get thrown off the roof or, or, or get pretty much thrown anywhere into anything, like whether it's a, a train track or uh, wherever, because it could be fatal in a... In a, in a self-defense situation so um so very important that you observe your surroundings and uh, adapt accordingly to avoid getting in, in these types of situations so uh that's pretty much all i got to say about this um so let me let me know let me know what you guys think in the comments below on on the situation. Um, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, comment, and I'll see you later.